Hi, my name's Mark Lama. Welcome to a really detailed walkthrough tour here at number 66 Max Pernell Street in Ford. Location is everything in real estate, isn't it? So I wanted to show you over my shoulder these awesome walkways around the local pond and wetlands. Plus, this property overlooks this really wide strip of reserve, meaning this is a really low traffic flow area. This road has hardly any cars coming and going and heaps of room to be able to park for your visitors as you can in the driveway. So if you've another four vehicles comfortably in the driveway, I want to show you the frontage of this property because it's easy care, it's low maintenance, it's beautifully looked after and landscaped. This is AstroTurf, a big strip here, you can park your car here if you like, but also all this AstroTurf down this side. There's also a side gate that you can get to, um, so guests can come straight through there to your covered entertaining area. But all of this is just really lovingly looked after by the owners. The house itself is a single level, freestanding, three bedroom, on street and a large square meter, over 150 square meters, so a really big three bedroom. But again, if you bring the camera up to here and spin it around, we'll just give you this impression of the location, giving out a really good feel for how trans around the suburb, Mulligan's Flat, that borders the whole of Ford is a great place to hang out and walk your dog or mountain bike, and a couple of hundred meters in yet the local shops as well. Okay, let's come inside and do the internal of the home. So follow me in, there's so much to show you here. We're gonna first of all come through a crim safe security screen front door. We're gonna come in and be greeted by these hybrid timber look floors. So this is a sturdy hard wearing flooring that extends through all these living spaces and through the kitchen so it integrates really nicely. Um, so let's have a look at this front living area. So there's a, a number of living spaces on the property. The front one is of course the one that gives us this aspect if we bring the camera and have a look across the road where we started the video. We've got three full length windows that really allow you to appreciate that aspect and view across there. Plus this room is on the corner so we've got three quarter windows here and here. These have got roller blinds and there's Roman blinds on the ones at the front. Um, we've got an NBN connected at the property so the box is just down there in the corner. We've got ceiling fans and also right throughout the property ducted gas heating with add-on cooling. So that's ducted heating and cooling. Plus there's a large split system reverse cycle air conditioning unit here. So you're going to stay warm or cool depending on what you need. All right, LED down lighting right throughout the property, both here through the kitchen into the other living area there. We're going to go through this galley style kitchen and show you everything there is to offer here. So an island bench set up here with a one and a half bowl stainless steel sink. Okay, uh, lots of cupboard space underneath your built in dishwasher, underbench dishwasher there. Um, that is a Bosch appliance. You've got room for a microwave in here. The microwave, you do bring your own microwave. The rest of the appliances, we've got a ducted um, uh, extract or exhaust fan, so it's externally ducted into the roof. And also five burner gas cooktop, extra large. Look at all this extra space you've got there. And your underbench electric stainless steel oven as well. Um, so that is um, an Omega brand, and this is Omega as well. So let's have a look at the storage options, your pantry, look at the size of that, adjustable melamine shelving, and a whole wall of storage cupboards up here as well. So check all of that out. So the kitchen's a really great spot because we've spin around, we'll notice that it then looks out over this entertaining area and we can actually open up for these double doors. We'll go out there shortly, but I'm just sort of showing you how this is set up. And these doors open up. Oh, actually, well, we've got this um, dog screen put in there at the moment, so I'm going to leave that, but this opens right up and then extends out to this timber entertaining deck. There's a bit to show you there. All right, let's come and just come back a step and have a look at our garage. So we've got an internal access from the double garage. We're a quick look in here. There's a lot of stuff in here at the moment, but there's a rear access door. You can go down to the uh, side of the property. It's a remote panel lift garage door. And you've also got a full solar system at this property. That's about 18 panels or about 5.5 kilowatts. So we reckon you should be almost be self-sustainable with uh, with all of that in place. Let's have a look at the rear living area, which is sort of in the middle part of the home at the moment, some secondary living space, uh, where it becomes a formal dining space or whatnot's up to you. Um, so we've got uh, three quarter windows that look out to the side yard and also another sliding door that comes out to this entertaining area if you wanted to use that. Um, oh, there's some neat little thing to show you as well. Tucked away, you don't realize behind these, by fold doors, 
We've got a very purpose-built, built-in study. Um, and this is our setup to be a similar color scheme theme as the kitchen. So it's all done uh, properly and professionally at the time of construction. I really like the setup of that. We've also got a separation of all the bedrooms, bathrooms and whatnot in this part of the home. Meaning the sliding cavity door can separate all of this part of the home from the rear. So let's come and have a look at the back. I'm gonna come in and turn right and take you into bedroom number three. So this bedroom, of course, doesn't share any walls with, uh, with any other bedrooms. So it's nice and private, a great size. Single bed in here at the moment, but you could fit a double or a queen. We've got sliding doors here, sliding built-in robes. These are mirrored on both sides, shelving down here, hanging this space. Roller blinds and your uh, window with external locks there and uh, that's the uh, rear of the garage. LED downline extended all through here as does the ducted heating and cooling. Okay, right next door to that, you've got your laundry. So laundry's got your tub uh, with built-in storage underneath, room to the right of that for a washing machine and a dryer. The dryer can actually be mounted on the wall if you like as well. And then sliding built-in storage here. So we've got some hanging and shelving space here and shelving space on this side. And then go out through a sliding door and we'll just quickly show you this. To the side of the property, there's actually a fully inbuilt cat run. This is all enclosed, so if you have a pet, um, a cat's gonna have a heap of fun out here. Also worth showing you, you've got your Rinite Infinity Gas hot water system, so instantaneous and continuous hot water. And there's your rain tank there as well, and a little clothesline. Okay, back into the property, all right, through the laundry, I'll open that up, I'm gonna turn right, and just show you a separate toilet room right next door to the laundry. So follow me. I like the size of this room. They've made it a little bit bigger. There's a, uh, obviously a toilet, external ventilation window. You've got your uh, basin with mirror above as well. Okay. And then right next door to that, we've got our main bathroom. Have a look at the size of the shower. You just need to appreciate that. If you bring the camera in, I'm gonna stand in there and show you. All right, I can spread my arms out and still not touch each side. Those tiles go right to the ceiling. Um, we've got heat lamps, a bath. We've got our vanity with storage under and, and mirror over the top. Uh, heat lamps have two of those to keep you nice and warm and toasty in these camber winters. And then out of there, straight across the course, we're noting more storage options. So sliding robes here. That's all shelving space all along here. So heaps of room. And then um, back into bedroom two, we're gonna go into now. We've got some feature wallpaper here, which I love and feature uh, color schemes. So this one really stands out. It's quite a big room, a little bit bigger than bedroom number three. It looks back to the rear part of the property through uh, roller blinds there. And uh, we can look at that when we get outside. Storage in the form of mirrored built-in robes. So we've got hanging space on this side and we've got a shelving space on that side. It's all uh, packed up at the moment. And then uh, let's go and check out our main bedroom. So right next door to that. Uh, let's come in and go right. So straight away, you can just get a feel for the size of this bedroom. But if we come right here, I'm gonna show you the size of the walk-in robe. It is massive. Uh, look at the shelving, the storage space goes all the way down there. Look at this, surely you've, uh, you'll fill up this space. Um, and then it's also got its own ensuite, of course, so we're showing you that. So let's go and check out the ensuite. And that's also got the full height tiling that we had through the main bathroom. I like the way the toilets just separate a little bit to the side there, got that wall for a bit of privacy. Um, the vanity has a, um, a mirror over, and also a large shower recess here, only a little bit smaller than the main bathroom. No, those tiles to the ceiling, heat lamps, and external ventilation window. Now these same hybrid floors that we saw throughout the living spaces extend down the hallway and into this room as well. Note as well our ceiling fan, okay? And then you can actually, I'm gonna do it right now, take you outside via a sliding door. We go through here and out to a large paved area. We're gonna go right and show you the rear yard. We peeked at it a little bit through the room uh, window of bedroom number two. But again, out here, there's still no grass to worry about. Enough room for a trampoline. I like all the, um, uh, the, these beds of the, the trees, the yuccas that are there. Also you'll notice the owners put this additional screening on the fences, so there's some timber boards this side, some awesome bamboo on the other side you'll have a look at shortly. 
uh, another clothesline here, a larger clothesline. And also worth noting, quite a large corner metal store shed. That comes with the property, that'll be included for you. Uh, as does this pergola covered area here, this will all come and all stay uh, with the sale for you. Again, no grass, loving these screen fences. Um, also, a lot of the windows and doors have external awnings, so we can see that just over that main bedroom, the external pull-down awning. Uh, again, here as you come through, all right, you'll see these. There's a number of these throughout the property. Okay, let's come into this area, which we had a quick look at when we were back around the kitchen area. So this is your uh, so half alfresco and half pergola covered, but now fully covered entertainer. It's a really big size timber. This, by the way, just a little play area for the kids. They're gonna get a heap of use out of that. And uh, you can get a really close eye on them when you're in the kitchen and the living areas because they look out to here. And then just to finish up the video, you've got the side gates that we looked at at the start. Um, so again, guests can come straight through there and into here. So come back into the house. We'll uh, finish the video back here in the front living room. I hope that's given you a really great appreciation. We kept it as an uncut video so you can see everything. This really, this video should show you exactly what you would see when you get here yourself. Um, we could offer the property with vacant possession, no waiting for tenants to move. We can be a bit flexible on settlement terms. Come and tell us what you need. Come and tell us if you love this property. I know we do, and I know the owner does, but it's ready to hand over to the new buyer, and I hope that's gonna be you. See you at one of the open homes.